what's happening everyone welcome back to the channel <laughs> hope that you're having a lovely day thank you as always for being here uh we are listening and continuing our album listen of radis norvichikis the stranglers this time moving on to ugly i ain't saying nothing <laughs> so my wife and i the other day we were driving around just kind of hanging out on the town you know just driving around saturday late morning around here in Orlando, and I put this album on, of course, listening to up to where we stopped. And we were just jamming out to some Stranglers, just hanging around the city, just jamming out, you know? She was enjoying it, so uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next track, Ugly. We are almost done with this particular album. I know a lot of you guys have been uh, excited and anticipating the last track, Down in the Sewer. And your excitement makes me excited, so. But first, let's get through some Ugly over here, the Stranglers. Let's go.
Did you guys hear that little breakdown there in the end? Hold on, let me put. Oh, I just locked my phone. Let me let me put my volume down. Let me pull it back up. Did you guys hear that breakdown in the end? Hold on, hold on. Uh, right here, at the, right about here. No, no, listen, listen, listen. Woo! Oh, <laughs> that that's a breakdown. All right, I love this track. It's like a punk version of the Doors. I love, of course, Greenfield sprinkles throughout this whole thing. But it's like in this. I don't know, a few seconds in or whatever? I'll find it, I'll find it. But I, I love what Greenfield's doing on the organ, and then these synthy overdrive guitars and organ, and I don't know what's happening exactly, but there's a moan in there. Oh, I should have looked at the timestamp. I think it's around one something. And like, there, it's just a break, and it just goes. Hugh and Dave, they're just like hitting it hard there. Yeah, this, I love this. Because during the verses, we're just organ chopping it up, chopping up the lettuce. But then here, we get into like almost a theremin-like sound going on. That verse is so punky. He was really putting the throat in his singing here. He was doing a certain kind of punk growl, aggressive, ugly. <laughs> and hey, he's one to tell it like it is. He has punk in his attitude at least. And he's saying, hey. If you're ugly, <laughs> you better have some money. <laughs> now, hey, I don't know how, how I look to most people. My wife tells me I'm cute. But, <laughs> but he's saying, it, 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 you know, you know. He's, that's what he's saying. Because even in, hold on, let me pull up the verse. He says, don't tell me that aesthetics are subjective. You know the truth when you see it, whatever it is. <laughs> that reminds me, hold on. Have you guys seen uh, the world's ugliest dog? Hold on, let me put let me pull it up right here. I haven't seen this in a long time. I don't remember what it looks like. Like, I'm pulling up a picture, and I'll put a picture here on the screen. Oh man! Oh come on! It, like I feel bad for it. I feel pity. That that's 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 not a good looking dog. But. But there will be someone out there that will look at that dog and say, that is a beautiful dog. It's not for me. <laughs> it's not for me. That's not subjective. That's objective. But regarding this track, not ugly at all. Uh, musically. But I love this organ that he has going on. Like I said, that grouty and chestful roar that he has. But it's really in this break here that I love. Synth rise, theremin like sound. That's good. Bass is just pulsing and throbbing the whole way through. This is like a very aggressive track before I would, well, I don't know what Down in the Sewer is going to be like. I'm just imagining this is the aggressive, hard hitting track before we get into something a little more epic because I do see that uh, it's what, eight minutes long? Seven minutes long. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to end this one with a bang, huh? So let's get into these lyrics. I could have read a poem called Ozymandias to her instead. The villain from Watchmen, an episode of Breaking Bad, and it's a poem I don't remember by who. It's a short poem, but a poem, okay. I've lived for the moment. It was futile gesture anyway. I was here and she was there, and being broad of minds and hips, we did the only thing possible. Well, being broad of mind, broad of hips, there's only one thing I guess you can do. I guess I shouldn't have strangled her to death. Well, this escalated a little quickly. But I had to go to work. And she had laced my coffee with acid. I'm just going to imagine that he's not making a confession. That he's just... He means something else. He wanted to get business done as quick as possible. Normally I wouldn't have minded, but I'm allergic to sulfuric acid. Besides, she had acne. If you've got acne, well, I apologize for disliking it intensely. But it's understandable that ugly people have got complexes. I mean, it seems to me that ugly people don't have a chance. He, he didn't like her acne. I used to get really bad razor bumps. I still get them occasionally. It's only the children or the effing wealthy who turn out to be good looking. An ugly fart attracts a good looking chick if he's got money. Sometimes you do see, uh, you do see a, a, an out of sorts older man or woman, and they're with a younger man or woman, and well, you're like, how do they, how do they land together? 
yeah. them, them right stocks. Uh, that cryptocurrency <laughs> is different for Jews somehow. I'd like to see a passionate film between the two ugliest people in the world. When I say ugly, I don't mean rough looking. I mean hideous. <laughs> he's not talking about just a little roughness or a little edge. He's talking. He's talking the world's ugliest dog. Muscle power, muscle power, muscle power. My man Cornwall always tells it how it is. Hey, let me know what you guys thought of this track in the comments below. You can let me know. I just said that in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter, on Patreon, all these places. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a wonderful one, guys. Enjoy the weather wherever it is that you are. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.